and a very good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome along to our ninth day on our 12 days of Craftmas. Slightly different to the 12 days of Christmas. A, because they're earlier, and B, because we are giving you a brilliant little deal each and every day on our 12 days of Craftmas. Uh, previously, you have had um, extra bonus points. You have had bigger discounts. Today, we're talking about free gifts, and boy, oh boy, oh boy, you're gonna love these. Uh, we are giving you the opportunity, if you spend 20 pounds or 30 dollars, to get one of our free travel mugs into your cart. And here's the brilliant thing, um, we, we, you won't know which one you going to get you'll get one of these three right which is great news however if you then come back later on and spend another 20 pounds or 30 dollars we'll add another one into your basket now it may well be that you get a completely different one you might get a duplicate but the good news is the more you shop the more of these that you will get if you spend over 20 or 30 you might be very lucky if you make three purchases to get three completely different but the whole point is uh, get shopping and we will add these into your carts if you spend over 20 pounds or 30 dollars um, that is our 12 days of craft must deal today. Now, it is also a really exciting show because it's one of our award-winning shows, uh, The Craft Along. Basically, over the course of the next couple of hours, you get to craft along with us in real time. This is not one of those shows where we're kind of tight for time and then we have to go, oh, here's something that I made earlier and bring it to you like that. No, everything is done in real time so you can craft along. And actually, this is a show that you will want to save because it is a craft along with a little bit of a difference, a little bit of a Christmas twist, if you like, and uh, the lovely lady who's going to tell you what the twist is and all about this craft along is my absolute fave, uh, my TV wife. Uh, she's looking very Christmassy over there. Have you got presents on your head? Yeah, I thought I'd have a little switch round. I had my elf on my head earlier. Yep. Now I've got my little presents. They're very nice. Look, boing, 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 boing. You got yourself out with these, actually. Yeah, you better be careful. Oof, I nearly did. <laughs> uh, right, but yes, welcome to Craft Along. Really excited. I love these shows. Normally we come to you with, you know, something that we've launched quite recently and we bring you a fantastic project that you're going to start to finish. Sometimes we forget about the bare basics of it all. Mm -hmm. So I've taken it... I'm saying back a notch, but it isn't because believe you me, you're going to craft. You're going to craft today, um, but you're only going to need a few things and Ben will cover that in a moment. But what I'm going to show you is how to use them. So normally we show you the, the right, show you a project like this, might show you a project like this, a stepper card. Uh, we might show you an easel card. You know, it might be something a little bit different on how to use them. Um, but what do we forget, Ben? How do we get to that? Mm -hmm. How do we get to it? So we get to it by making things like this. And this show is all about, you are going to have a bank of cards that you're gonna be able to bring out and use time and time again when it comes to your edibles. Not just these, fabulous deal on, don't forget. But I'm gonna show you how you can use an edible on the top of your card. I'm gonna show you how you use an edible and take it into an easel card. And we're gonna make all of these different styles. I've got, um, I've got a double stepper card with this one, Ben, just for you, special friend, using oh, maybe you. mixing and matching. Um, I'm gonna do a fold back card, or you're going to do a fold back card as well. Uh, and this one will come in really useful if you want to do the double Z fold card, because you could do that twice and create a different effect uh, we're going to take it on the diagonal you're going to do a diagonal card uh, we're also going to do a lovely little cutting feature which this could go temp wise or it could open up as well two ways that you can do that one um, I'm going to show you a lovely little floating card how to make your little floating cards with your acetate uh, and then I'm going to show you a nice little feature where you're cutting it out at the top so it's a nice card but you've got a lovely dome feature at the bottom as well so they're the eight projects that we're going to aim to get through in two hours you're going to have then a bank or a library of car blanks that you can then revert back to write the measurements on the back on the front this is going to be a card that you can use time and time again when you come to using your edibles how do you want to use them you can go to your little section in your cards i have a little box at ho i say a little i have a big box at home where everything's in there when i make cube cards different style cards different boxes and things like that and this is what I do. I make myself a black and white one with my measurements written all over them and then I bank them in there and then whenever I want to bring one out, when I want to do a card, I know that I've got these as 
a reference to go back to and create using those edge balls and that is why you need to save the show and why we're doing things a little bit different on this particular craft along uh, so i hope you can join me you don't need much let me tell you white stamping card black card and ben will fill you at rest because you don't need a lot do you ben i'm gonna get ready for that first one we're gonna start with the basics i'm gonna get ready for that come back and join me in a minute we shall look forward to it. And yes, if you are a um, new viewer, of course, you can watch us Facebook, YouTube, on the website, but subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, save this show. Make your own place. You will come back to this show time and time again. Uh, and if you haven't yet got your everyday word edibles, I'll give you the deal in just a few moments' time. But if you want to take part today here, put me glasses on, is what you'll need. Uh, you'll need your everyday edibles. So uh, happy birthday just for you, with all my love. Congrats, you did it on your special day, special friend. Uh, you'll also need some uh, white stamping card. You'll need some black matte cardstock. You'll also need some heavyweight acetate. On top of all of that, here's your tools that you'll need. It's kind of becoming um, a bit of a standard, really, um, with things like your Gemini machine. You'll need your score master. You'll need your guillotine. Then you'll need also some red liner tape, some all-purpose glue, a tape pen, pokey tool, uh, and your die cleaning brush and pad. Uh, so there we are. That is everything that you'll need to take part. Um, I'll take the glasses off. Take part uh, in the show. If you haven't yet got the dies, then this is the deal that you can pick them up on today. Day, your everyday word edibles with uh, six dies in total and 10 sheets of your cardstock within this collection. You've got happy birthday. You've got your just for you. You've got um, with all my love. You've got congrats you did it. You've also got on your special day and special friend. So all of those are included in the bundle itself. You're also going to get 10 sheets of your Centura Pearl um, metallic uh, in that gorgeous copper. So all of that is included for £49.15 or $58.01. Uh, now, um, uh, Debbie uh, is wiggling over there. What you got? Nothing. Oh. Nothing. <laughs> I thought Nothing. you were waving something at No, me. I wasn't waving at you. I was waving to get someone's attention. It's ah. all right, Ben. It wasn't you. You're Sorry. safe. You're My bad. Safe. My bad. Uh, let us go over then to Ohio uh, and say hello uh, to one of uh, our lovely viewers. A lady who you may have seen before on a craft along. Uh, the lovely Jenny Barger uh, is with us. How are you, Jenny? Hi there. I'm great. Excellent. Are you, um, are you all ready for Christmas? I'm almost ready. Wow, good. I suppose it's good to know really seeing as we're a couple of weeks away. And um, I know you've done a few craft alongs in the past, but a slightly different one today. Um, are you looking forward to uh, all of the different techniques and the, the kind of, I suppose, a refresher for you really on how to make all these different cards? Yeah, yeah no, I'm really excited about this because this will be a great way because I like to um, have some people come to my house sometimes for making unique cards and this will be if i have this already made up this will be a great way to show them different concepts that they can make yeah excellent stuff and i know we're having a little bit of a chat with you before the show as well and i know debbie's um going to try and get through the uh, the eight different concepts if you if you think at any point because i know that you are quite an experienced crafter at any point of any different ones um feel free to um to do those as well Sounds great. Not putting you under any pressure or anything, though. No, uh, no, not at all. <laughs> uh, well, Denny's ready, uh, and uh, hopefully you are ready to craft along with us as well uh, at home. If at any point over this show, and, and I mean this more than ever with this particular one, right, because if you are new, this is a show that you can um, save and come back to, but ask those questions. If you get stuck or if you want um, Debbie to repeat anything on any of the eight uh, projects that we're going to do, ask the questions and we can repeat it for you. Uh, get in touch on Facebook or on YouTube. Sorry, I keep laughing because I can see Debbie in my monitor here and every time she's moving around, her head's just doing this. Uh, so feel free uh, to, <laughs> uh, to get in touch through the show. A uh, quick hello to a few of you already and just giving you one more minute to get your bits and pieces together. Uh, Sarah says, hello. Hello, uh, Debbie, Ben, and all the crafty peeps. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm back. It's 2 a.m. in Melbourne, Australia, uh, Friday morning. Thank you for being with us, Sarah. really appreciate it. Uh, Carletta says, hi. Patricia's in. Uh, also, uh, Shadai says, good morning, Lord Ben, and fab friend Debbie Robinson. How do you do? How do you do to you? Uh, just relaxing today whilst watching. I still have one more night shift to go before I am off. Anne Lee is in from Bristol, and Patty says, Debbie, I love your headband. Um, I think it's going to be 
causing a lot of fun and mayhem through the show. Um, hopefully it doesn't interfere with the demos. But if you are ready, George Squared in the gallery, are you ready? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think that means they're ready. Uh, Jenny is ready and uh, Debbie is ready as well. So here we go, bit of a different craft along. Uh, that's why this is an award-winning show. What are we gonna be starting off with then, Debbie? So we're gonna do the over the edge on a 10 fold card. So you're gonna take a sheet of white stamping card. I did tell you that these car this card especially, mm -hmm. it was in this, the Get It Got It Good deal as well. Yes. Great, great, it's a great get it got it good deal. Let me tell you now, because of all the all the things that you need, and white stamping card is one of those. Absolutely, you do need. Now, you, there's two ways you can use these fabulous dies um, by cutting into your tent folds. You can actually score. Now, do you know normally we tell you not to score on them because you're going to bend your words and things like that? Doesn't really matter with this one. You can work it both ways. So first things first, we're going to make that tent fold card. We're going to bring in our scoreboard. We're going to take our piece of A4 card. We are going to pop it onto our uh, scoreboard. Now this doesn't matter if it's a small, small scoreboard or the large scoreboard or if you've got an Ultimate Pro you're going to be able to use that really easily. My Ultimate Pro Ben has gone missing. So I've been looking everywhere thinking maybe use my Ultimate Pro but it's just appeared. So we're just going to use the scoreboard because there is a mark on the Ultimate Pro where you can do the A4 half fold. So for it on the terms of a scoreboard if you don't have an Ultimate Pro uh, what you're going to use is you're going to take this up to um, the and I'm going to say you, you don't score at the six mark it's the one before so it's the eighth increment before the six inch. Yeah. So on your small scoreboard you'll see your six but you want to go into the groove just before it and do that first score line top to bottom so literally a4 on the landscape way onto your board that side up to the butt of the board and then just score that down the one inch before now when you are doing your tent fold obviously a tent fold goes like this opening that would be a normal a4 opening we're going to go on this so you're going to spread that out you're going to take your die. Now, the dies all have, and I'll just bring my poker tool in for a second. They all have a notch at either side. Kissy lips. Kissy lips. And that's where you're going to sit that onto your score line. Now, it does have a die cut element on here. It goes a die cut all way. You can see the raised elements on these. You can see the bits that stay down in as well. And there's also some embossed details on these dies as well. That's when you'll use your purple rubber embossing mat. However, because this is going to be a very quick fire, we've got eight projects to get through. Uh, and I'm going to show you each one of them. And we may even possibly get some more. Um, we're going to just go straight in for it. So all I'm doing is lining those little notches or the kissy lips or whatever you call them onto that score line. And we're going to just simply hold that down with some low tack tape. I've gone with all my love on this one, Ben. Uh -huh. uh, but it's entirely up to you. You can choose any of these, all of your dies. If you've got one of the dies and you want to make a bank of these cards in just the one, you can do because they will work with every single one of these edible dies. I'm going to pop that onto my uh, Gemini and then we're going to place on the um, clear, no wait a minute, plastic shim, magnetic shim and the other clear cutting plate and we're going to run that through our Geminis. Now if you've got a Gemini Junior, it will, they will work on your Gemini Junior, let me just tell you. I'm, I'd hate bend forward, Ben. If I bend forward, my, my presence feel like they're going to fall this off the end. I mean. I'm just going to poof, cause chaos poof, today. Honestly, yeah. I might put my health back on in a minute because I, I can you feel them it. wobbling around. They are wobbling today. They are Look very the wobbly. I love them though, Ben. I love them. Right into these They are things, brilliant, they? actually. They're oh, making me feel a little bit festive, a yeah. little bit festive. Uh, so when we take that off, and again, let's just move his plates out of the way. We are going to, and this is when if you are going to do the embossing, that's when you would turn it over and pop your rubber embossing mat on to get the embossed features. And I think with it being the first one, I'll just do that. But before we do the rubber embossing feature, I want you to lift off your tape. And the reason being is if you do the embossing bit now with the tape on, mm -hmm. it's going to stick that tape down. It'll be a nightmare to get up. So whenever you're doing the embossing side to a die, just make sure that you've taken your tape off. And I'm going to try and find a rubber embossing mat, Ben, like so. I'm going to bring back in that plate. I'm going to bring back in my plastic shim. I'm going to pop the die onto there, like so. In fact, I'm not. Debbie, you're turning it over. 
you turn it over you're going to pop the rubber embossing mat over the top like so and i'm only going to do it with this one ben i'm not going to do it with all of them because uh, i want to get through the concepts as fast as i can but i'm just going to for the very first one show you that these dies have a die cut element and an embossed element so it's worth doing the extra detail of the rubber embossing mat after you've done the die cut yeah. to get that extra bit of oomph an extra bit of embossed yes. detail with these fabulous dies because they're like a two for the price of one these so when i take that off now and i'm just going to move my plates again for a second ben and then what i'm going to do is just gently lift that off now there is some details on these that have got some delicate features to them mm -hmm. um, and all i'm going to do is pierce the waist through okay like so and then all you're going to do is fold and there you've got your first Hi. tent card. And Amazing. I say tent card, and I'll show you the one that I did. I chopped mine down to size. So you could use that now as a tent fold card. And I'm just going to bring it up so you can see it up against where you've got that perfect on the edge card. And you can go any size you want with these. So you could have a really nice big one. But you can simply change the size by taking off the bottom. So with these, uh, do you know what I see when I see it this size? I think of a name place, you know, like a... Um, you know, on your weddings and your tables, uh, like a little table one. Yeah. Now, obviously, it doesn't have to be with all my love. It could be one of the other ones. Uh, do you know a birthday party? You could have all around your birthday party, oh, all the happy birthday idea. ones, and then yeah. you could put the names of the, of the, of the guests, the guests yeah. and your birthday girl or birthday boy, and that could be a lovely little name one. And the only difference that I've done with that is, is that I've chopped it down. That's, that's about... That's about a seven inch base folded in half. It turns it into a three and a half. But that is how you create that first base of your tent fold card. So on the back of your card, when you're doing this, I would just write on there. Oh, Debbie, get a pencil that works. Get a pencil that works. Write tent fold and put A4 and score. And if you have used your scoreboard, write your five um and it's uh like seven eighths yeah or on your um on your ultimate if it's an ultimate you've used it's the a4 half fold so that when you come back to it you know you've got that because this is going to be a template for you so that you know that that's how you would create your big one and how you would create that on the edge card like so and you've got that as your first little in your bank Pop that in your little bank of cards that you're going to be making. Bab. Okay, so that's your first one done and dusted. And of course, when you decorate them up, let me see if I can find one that's decorated up already, Ben, because you watch, you watch now I've done that, they're into finished samples. Of course there isn't. Because they won't be. You know they won't be. However, when you start decorating them, mm -hmm. well, your presents that fall off your head? <laughs> you got one? I've got one. I've got yes. one. Decorate them up any way you want because this is the fun bit. You can use them to um, ink through as well. If you saw that demonstration that I did this morning, uh, you can go back and watch Wake Up Call. I did one uh, with this, with a double Z fold, but I used the die to do the inking through. And I'll probably talk about that a little bit later on in the show. But that's the kind of thing you can do now with your A fold fold. And if you want to chop it down to size, absolutely perfect. So that's your first one banked. Get that in your bank box or your library box or whatever box it is you want to call it uh, for your cards. And let's get ready for that second one. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, loads of you loving this show already. Slightly different craft along, as we said. Uh, Caroline Hanley on Facebook says, Ha ha, I've just tuned in and what did I see? Ben being a comedian and wearing funky glasses. Then th these, are my, these are my reading glasses. I got them on the National Elf. <laughs> 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 oh, this is why we love you, Ben, says Carolyn. Thank you. <laughs> hey, what? Uh, Carolyn says, great class, and you both look fantastic. Aisha says, good morning again, everyone. Happy to see that Debbie is back, and I love the headband. Um, and Sharon says, hello, everyone. It's so good to see Debbie and Ben looking so Christmassy on this snowy Connecticut morning. Wow, I wish it was snowy here, Sharon. I really, really do. Maybe we'll get some uh, as we head closer to Christmas. Don't need those now. Uh, let's show you all of the goodies that you're going to get in this collection. And remember, still seven more cards to show you um, with your edgeables. These are phenomenal as well. And with the boards here that I've got, it's basically just showing you um, how these are going to look if you cut them straight into your card and how you can use these um, elsewhere as well. 
if you wanted to use them as panels, if you wanted to kind of uh, uh, cut these into things like your box lids, for example, as well. Um, but they are stunning. They really, really are. And you've got so much detail uh, within each and every one of the dies and a whole host of different sentiments with these as well. So this is with all my love, um, which you just saw Debbie using a few moments ago, just for you. And again, what I like about these is not only are they versatile from the point of crafting, but they're versatile from the point of just for you can be for anything really, can't it? It can lend itself to a whole host um, of different occasions. You've then got happy birthday. I mean, a collection would not be complete without it, but look at this. I mean, so much detail in the die itself with the party hats and the streamers and the cake absolutely love that then you've got on your special day again will lend itself to a lot maybe it is an anniversary maybe it's a wedding uh, maybe it's a birthday uh, beautiful floral designs um, in that and hopefully you're seeing as well with this show not only are these easy to use but come the end of the show you'll have eight different ways to be able to use these edibles which is phenomenal congrats you did it again we were chatting about this earlier on how lovely is that passed an exam passed a driving test um, got a new job whatever it might be uh, really really stunning and then lastly, you have got special friend, again, with all of that beautiful detailing in. Um, you've even got uh, the little uh, dragonfly, you've got little butterflies in there. It's stunning. That collection comes with 10 sheets of your um, Centura metallic cardstock as well in the copper. It's a great deal. 49.15 or 58.01 if you're platinum. If you want to uh, pick a mix, you can. Two, pa uh, two for £23 or two for £27 dollars uh now i wasn't going to do this next thing but th yes this is a public service announcement um we've got the cartload we've got the cart i gotta take these off because i gotta be serious we've got cartload coming up for you later on we previewed some of the goodies that we've got in cartload there's lucky dips they're coming up they're flying out the door you can buy up to four without getting duplicates however we have got goodie bags there's four goodie bags right there's four goodie bags that we've got um, to bring to you later on. I am the bearer of slightly bad news if you haven't taken advantage of the deals on these yet, um, because the Spectrum Noir goodie bag that I have in front of me here has £100 worth or $138 worth of goodies for £30 or $40, right? £24 or $32 if you're platinum. We launched these on a sneaky peek this morning. The Spectrum Noir mystery bag limited stock there's green on the screen which means it soon won't be seen i cannot believe i'm saying that but i did kind of pre-warn you i will just quickly show you and i was allowed to do this within the back if you ordered you um more than one of these you will get duplicates you've got your um, heat resistant craft mat in there and you're also going to get uh, your set of floral classiques that there is the value of the bag let me just tell you there is tons more inside this particular bag but it's flying it will sell out producer georgina just told me this is going to sell out just to give you a bit of an idea in fact you know what she's actually just given having said she was disappointed in me earlier on She's now saying, you may as well just show it it's going to sell out. I have got permission now. You've got your um, door, but that's going to be in there for you. Also, um, your mini blending eggs, you'll receive those in this bag. Oh, I've got 10 more seconds to show you. Uh, you've got some art liners in there. There's still tons in here. You've also got your um, My Cup of Tea stamp set. Three, oh, I'm, I'm not going to get anything else out. Uh, and there is lots more besides. You need to grab that because that is going to sell out uh, before we get to cartload. In fact, before the end of the show, I've just been told, but guaranteed. Now, just to mention as well, we have also got um, available for you um, an embossing folder mystery bag and a, a stamp mystery bag. This one here is your die cutting mystery bag. 75 or $100 worth for £16 or $24 if you're platinum. I will show you your value of your bag is right there. Um, you've got your scalloped edge circles. Also in this, from the Vintage Diary collection, you've got your beautiful page edges dies. That's the value. Within this bag, you've got one, two, three, four, five. There's five other items in here. And let me just tell you, items that really should not be. Oh, okay, I've just been told. Then you can show a bit more because this one is now limited stock. There's green on the screen, which means 
It soon won't be seen. You're correct. Thank you in the gallery. Um, so I will very quickly show you some of the other items that you will get in this bag. Um, from the Sensational Succulents collection, uh, this beautiful dye from Sharon Callis. There's more Sharon Callis in this bag as well, just to let you know. Um, also, you're going to get the uh, beautiful Let Love Grow set. Oh, I can show you one more because I'm running out of time. And how cute, uh, from the Little Elements collection, the beautiful Bloom flower set. Boom. There's another three items in there. £16, $24 if you're platinum. Uh, Producer Georgina has said, next time we bring those to you, they'll be gone, flying out of the door. Um, also, just to mention, I did say earlier on about the travel mugs, a few of you were having problems apparently um, on um, second and third orders of these. That should now be resolved. Apologies if you did have problems and you were doing a second order and it was going, oh, you can't have another mug. Uh, it should all be fine now, okay? So if you, if you are trying to order a second or third, you should still get uh, your travel cup uh, once, twice, three times over, depending on how many times you order. Any more problems, do let us know. Um, thank you for all the great messages. Uh, the lovely Colleen, who is doing our socials today, you have sent me some gorgeous snowy pics. Unbelievable. I am super, super jealous right now. Uh, but glad you guys are safe, enjoying the snow. Lorraine just says, in my craft room now, watching on YouTube. Having a great day, everyone. Tony says, love your glasses, Ben. Thank you. Um, and Patty says, I don't have this collection yet, but I'm saving for this. Uh, when I do get it, I know Debbie will be doing such amazing projects. I'll have to get it at some point. The whole point about this show is so that when you've got this project, you can't just make the one card. Oh no, you'll be able to make eight different styles of cards. So let's go back over to Mrs. Wobblehead herself <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and have a look at concept number two. <laughs> so we said eight that we're going to get through, but yeah. let me tell you, there's tons more. This was just what I could cram in two hours. So I promise you, there's a lot of ways that you're going to be able to use this. Now, grab yourself another sheet of A4 cardstock. I'm going to show you how you can make an easel card. Okay. Pretty much similar to what we've just done with the folds, apart from adding an extra fold in there. So for this one, and again, if you've got an ultimate, I could show you on the ultimate, but ours has disappeared. So I'm going to talk to you about on the scoreboards, the measurements I'm going to give you. So we're going to go back onto that scoreboard. We are going to go back in where we pop up to the score, well, I said the score line, the brunt end of the board or the blunt end. Uh, blunt? Blunt. Brunt. Brunt. Brunt of the board. The butt end, that's it. That's what it is. That's what they call it, the butt. It's the butt of the board. Is it? So, yes, that's what they call it. Oh, but. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. I haven't made that word up. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to score in that same place. So do you know where we did before, where we did the one eighth before the six? Yeah. So go in that groove before the number six inch and again, score top to bottom, like so. What we're going to do is we're going to add another line in and we're going to add this into the half centre way. So this one is, do you know where you can see the number three? Go to your number three groove, but don't score. Go into the one groove before, so it's two and seven eighths yep. and do exactly Oof. the same. And you're going to just pop your score line into there. Uh, and that way is now how we are going to create our easel card. Let me just get my... Um, <laughs> what are you oh, looking oh, for? Oh. Guess what I've lost. I've been here two minutes and I've managed to lose it. Uh, do you know what I mean? Bone folder? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm. Just uh, let me sing to myself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, do, you know, do you know, it's a bit like me at uh, Poke Tools, this one. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, it's disappeared. Well, you had it a minute ago, didn't you? I know I did. Oh, come here. So... Right, honestly, Ben, I'm a, I'm absolutely. What hopeless. are you like? Because I put it down. Can you see? Because I know uh, a fresh pair of eyes. Never see Poke for looking. Tool, bone Poke folder. Tool, bone folder. No, I'm no. sorry, George was saying what you're after. Yeah, we're looking for here, bone folder. Oh, no. do you know what? I'm going to have to use Ben. What? I'm going to have to use my scoring tool. Oh, it could yeah. be fine, but I need to find that. That's oh, that the bone annoying folder. annoying, though, isn't it? Just a bit. You just a tad annoying. You keep looking. So we're going to just use the brunt, uh, blunt end again. I'm doing it again. Uh, just give it a nice score. I and did then it fold. today. I know I did. I used it. I've just used it a minute ago. Honestly, I've just used it a minute ago, Ben. And then again, I don't know where it is. It's disappeared. I know. It's vanished. <laughs> It's like everything in this place. Put it down long enough, but it's disappeared. And uh, what it creates now... <laughs> Looking, is it creates a lovely easel card and guess where we're going to put the die this time 
We're yeah, going to put you it. it. We're going to pop it on here. Mm. So I'm going to open up my card. Do you know what we might have to ask really nicely? Get another one. Tracy and Johnny, if I can have a new one. Oh, that's annoying, though. Because it's disappeared. Yeah. Uh, but so when you've got it folded over, can you see you've got your two lines in now? Like I said, they, these particular dies work really well um, either with a pencil line or without. But what I'm going to do is. I'm going to pop that onto there like so. So again, I'm going to position it and I'm going to position it into this half of the fold. I'm going to use those little notches or the kiss ellipses as our Ben calls them and I'm going to place them onto that score line. If you don't want to put a score line going across, it doesn't matter. You can just put a little couple of pencil marks and then score it afterwards. Uh, but it, it works either way with this one, which is what I love about these dies. So again, I'm going to go in. I'm going to hold down some low tack tape. We're going to pop it back on our plate. Now, if you have got a Gemini, junior this will fit through your gemini junior you would just pop it sideways because i'm using my larger one is everybody on the hunt for it now oh you are a darling thank you so much uh thank you welcome um, I was going to say it were mine, but it's not because it's got sea room on it, which means it's craft room, which means Debbie can't take it home. It's because, got what? Uh, steam room? Sea room for the craft room. Oh, sea room. Sea room, yes. So you said steam room? No, not the steam room. <laughs> like, where's then, that? A sea room. Sea room. So it means Debbie can't pop that into no, the bag. No, you can't. Because uh, I get caught. So I just don't know where mine's gone. It's terrible. It's just disappeared. <laughs> so I'm going to run that through. Have you noticed yet? We've not used this guillotine. No. We've not used anything else other than a scoreboard and the dies and the Gemini's. Amazing, absolutely amazing. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create the easel card um, in one pass of your machine. And then, let's lift that off. Don't forget if you're gonna do your embossing or your inking um, when you're doing these, you absolutely can. All I would say is, is if you are gonna do your inking and your embossing, take your tape off. Um, and that way you'll not get um, any of that tape stuck down when it runs through the embossing or uh, get it inked up because if you put ink all over your tape mm. you're going to end up in a bit of a mess uh, so now what we've got is is this sheet and again like i said finishing those little details make a difference you saw me this morning use this one but all i'm going to do is just slightly lift it up and i say slightly let's do it a, let's do a gentle tease uh -huh. because on this one you've got some butterflies on this was the one that i demoed this morning ben so when you're teasing it off in fact turn it that way around tease it gently tease it with your hand i usually get my poker tool underneath although when you emboss it ben can i tell you by embossing it lifts it out even easier because the more compressed it is into the die the easier it is to lift out oh, i see does that make sense yeah absolutely yeah so if you've only lightly touched it, it yeah. may, you know it, it, sometimes you have to just give it a little gentle tease that's when you don't wreck it and don't pull it mm -hmm. whatever you do oh. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't do a Debbie. You, don't did you do, see me do it? I did see you do did it. You? <laughs> so don't wreck it. And then don't wreck it. it. Do it gently. Yeah. But if you do the extra embossing, it makes this part easier to come out. So um, come on, Debbie. Come on. Get that little bit out. There we go. And then just poke out all your extra little bits. Oh, can you see what I did this morning? I didn't clean my dye. Oh, I said to you. Oh, you've got no one else to, to blame but I yourself. I can't blame anybody this time but myself. There is purple, uh, purple ink on there. Mm -hmm. Oh, dear didn't clean it uh, and just poke out all your little bits but what you've got there is apart from an inky mess uh, <laughs> you won't have got that is li gently lift that out and there you've got yes. your easel and i'm going to say on this one can you see at the very back yeah do you know you've got your waist uh -huh. i normally cover this up with a piece of uh, cardstock okay. to make it nice and neat especially if you're sending it to someone because i think sometimes but do you know what i do i chop that little bit off because it, it do you know what? I get a little bit irritated I know, by a little things. bit twitchy about stuff like that. I, I am I a little understand. bit. Do you know why? But you can cover that over because now what you've got is the lovely easel. And I'll just put my word back down because it's poking up. However, you need a little strip. So grab yourself a little piece of uh, waste card of this one, Ben. Just cut yourself. Um, and again, the stepper part of it, or the, the topper part of it, as long as, you know, you can go short, as big, as little as you want. But I'm just going to go in with um, an inch and a half for mine. And I'm going to trim it down to about six inches. But of course, you could go run this across the cardstock. Um, but it's just a nice little a nice little finish for your stopper. And I'm going to use um, a foam pad or two just to pop that in place. And it's literally, this is, don't forget, this is a library of black and white cards for you to refer to Absolutely. how to use when it comes to uh, your easel cards. And again, I'm just going to 
give these a nice little burnish with my nice now found um, craft room one and I'm just going to finish those off because they've been through the machine as well sometimes you can lose that but it makes a difference when you're wanting to lift it up yeah position where you're going to put your topper like so oh Ben remind me to clean that die because uh, I didn't clean it very well uh, position your stopper and you've got your easel card all done and dusted and for this one if you are going to pop a little strip think about this in in relation to the size so I would probably go at a two and a half inch strip by an A4 and stick it over the back make sure it just sticks on the back bit not on the word bit and that means you get a nice neat finish on that easel card but again right on the back get your pencil because don't forget this is your bank of cards you're going to put easel Oh, that remind me to put that pencil away as well, Ben, because uh, have to write a list that in pencil's a got no. I know it's got no. It's got no um, lead. No lead. So just put easel card A4 in brackets, and then um, score at five and seven eighths. Oops, I forgot. I missed the other one out. Two and seven eighths, and five and seven eighths, um, and then die cut and done and dusted. Fab. You've got your lovely easel card. Perfect. And then when you want to take it in two, and I've used well, this one, we've got a, a nice Ooh, yes. little coloured one. I'll just move it out of the way. So can you see now, you've got that lovely easel effect. And can I show you as well? Nice ah, cover up. Covered. Cover it up. Because you don't want, especially when you turn it over, you don't want to be able to see through it. You want to be able to cover it up. But you can do that very cosmetically. But again, that's another card. So that's two cards there. Two done. Done and dusted. Six to go. Yep. Um, and of course, this is just a bit of a start for you. But what a great craft along is this, giving you eight different cards that you can make with this collection. I mean, normally we send you away with one project, don't we, on a craft along? But eight this time around, this is going to be a show that you need to save. Remember, head to YouTube, uh, search us. If you're not already subscribed to us here at Crafters TV, subscribe, save this show, make your own playlist, uh, and you are away. Uh, there's lots of chat about this show coming through. Uh, Joy Sampson, hi Joy, says, I uh, need to make two birthday cards today. I'll do the one Debbie just did with the birthday edgeable. Thank you, Debbie, for all your inspiration. Uh, and Gemma Wilson on Facebook says, I've just ordered the Spectrum Noir goodie bag and the dye goodie bag. Now, I just need to quickly, before we move on to uh, card shape number three, just update you. This is, this is a public service announcement. We've got cartload coming up for you uh, a little bit later on. And of course, it's a Sara cartload, so it's going to be off the chart, dabomb.com. Amazing. Uh, we have got Lucky Dips where you can dip up to four times. We have got mystery bags as well for you. Now, the Spectrum Noir mystery bag, which um, Gemma ordered a few moments ago, you, you must have just literally got the uh, last one because don't scream and shout. Can you believe this? The Spectrum Noir mystery bag has now... It's now do do do. Sold out. Sorry, sorry, I was a mile away then. <laughs> I do apologise. I was in a little world of my own and I was just singing to myself yeah. and I, I don't know why that came out of my mouth. No. So sorry. That's all right. All sold out. I did tell you. Did I not tell you? What? Did I not say? What did you say? That some of these bags yes. would disappear before we got to the side show. It's bonkers, isn't it? We have to make I, some phone calls. I can't take a serious Easter. I can't take a serious on most days, but with them <laughs> wobbly presents on her head, are you joking me? How am I even managing to get through this show without laughing? I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. Um, also, <laughs> also, we've got the second mystery bag, which is your die cutting mystery bag. Uh, £75 worth or $100 worth. £20, $30, £16 or $24 if you're platinum. Uh, well, I'll tell you, it's limited, limited, limited stock. We have 4% of the stock remaining. That one is going to sell out before the end of the show. You have got to be quick because it's going to go, go, go. Please do not miss out on these. Um, that will uh, disappear, sadly. Wow, seriously, it is a biz, biz, busy, busy day. Uh, Cindy has just been in touch to say, just cannot help sending prezzies to my sister, niece, and her two young ones. They so enjoy the mini I sent earlier that I upgraded them to a junior, uh, and now each of the special bags as well. 
make sure you keep shopping. Shop ahead the show, shop ahead cartload because uh, we're going to get to that show and uh, well, things are going to be sold out. Even more great deals coming up on that show. Best ever prices like you've not seen before. At least six or seven items and an unbelievable deal coming up um, on the Ultimate Pro, which we'll talk more about later. Right now, back to our craft along where we are up to, is it car tip number three now, isn't it? Yeah, we're going to cover the diagonal. Uh, di diagonal, is that the right word? Yeah. Yeah, going, going down the slope is how I like to refer to this. Goes down the slope. Can you see it? Ski yeah. slope? Yeah, Whee! absolutely. Um, and I, I've, I've said this many a time, and I don't know if people do believe me or don't believe me, but I make every single card blank, card project with my own card stock. I yeah. will not go out and buy card blanks and envelopes because I've got all the tools that I need at home yeah. with scoreboards, with ultimates, envelope boxes, envelope, all sorts of stuff. I don't need them because if you've I can got do the it knowledge myself. to do it, why would you? Exactly. So for this one, we're going to take two pieces of cardstock because because these are big dies as well. So I'm going to use on your special day for this one. Now I did say on the earlier show that these are particularly big. They are. They're like seven, just shy, well, just shy of six inches uh, by about three. Uh, Three and a half, maybe a little bit more. So they're quite big dies and don't always necessarily fit onto like standard cards like um, a six by six and things like that. So I'm going to make a seven by seven card, but I'm going to use two pieces of cardstock. So you're going to get your guillotine, um, large or small, it's entirely up to you. If you've only got the small, then use your glass mat. And if I just show you for a second on your glass mat, you've got all the measurements on the bottom. You can simply place your cardstock on, go to the seven inch mark, mark it off with a bit of pencil, and then you can use use your smaller guillotine if you don't have the large extendable one okay uh, because the large extendable just gives you a little bit more um, scope inside in terms of your size of your projects so we're going to cut this to seven inches by seven inches alike so that's uh -huh. one part grab another piece of cardstock this one is going to be uh, still seven inches we'll have it this way we'll go this way and then this one, as long as you've got a little bit extra for a little bit of a lip, so it could be an inch, half an inch, entirely up to you. I'm just going to go in with probably about half an inch there. You could measure it and pull your leg out and then just, wait a minute, <laughs> pull this leg. Yeah. Not your physical leg, sorry. Pop that on there and you could measure it to something like eight. Because what we're going to do is we're going to score this particular piece of cardstock. I always thought that was an size. arm. You want my lovely? I always thought that was an arm, not a leg. Is it an arm? The arm. Oops, I, the is it? I call it a leg. Mm. Is it an arm? Yeah. Ooh, I think so. That's a fast. Well, every day is a school day. I call them legs. Oh. You call them arms. Arm, legs, arms, arms. Either way. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do is <laughs> to make me on seven by seven. We're going to take that longer one. We're going to pop it onto our scoreboard and we're going to score it. Now, whenever I'm doing it this way, I mean, I know I've got an eight inch piece here. Normally, I'd just score it once. But, you know, if you've gone, if you've not measured it in any particular way, a just little top tip I do, I take it to the seven inch mark because I know that my base is seven by seven. So go to the seven inch mark and score down there <laughs> and create me on little lip. And that way, it doesn't matter if you've been precise or not precise. Because there, you've now created your card blank on oh, a 7 fab. by 7 Because yeah, yeah. this bit is going to attach onto there to create the 7 by 7 But before we do, Ben, we're going to place our die. So we're going to use, and again, whatever die you've got, I'm using on your special day. And what we're going to do is place it in a diagonal point. Now, you're probably thinking, hang on a minute, do I score? Well... For this one, no, because for this one, we're going to chop it off. Now, if you were making a twisted easel, which I'm hoping we get time to make, I hope we get time to make, um, I'll show you how to do a twisted easel and where you would do the scoring bit. But I'm going to take a pencil mark then. I'm going to use a ruler. So I'm going to bring in a ruler. And from where I'll I fold my little flap over. Yep. And I'm just going to put a very faint pencil mark from the top left-hand corner down to the bottom right-hand corner. So I've got a visual of where I'm going to sit this die onto now because I want my kissy lips, my little points to sit on. Now, don't worry about this bit going over because this bit is just a decorative element. And if you look at it, the little flor florals and flowers aren't going to move anywhere. All I want to do is position it into place, hold it down with some low tack tape like so. Again, onto that diagonal line. And then we're going to run that through our die as well. So pop that on. Thin metal die combination again. All the normals. These will fit onto your Gemini Junior as well. It's a nice size where it'll fit on your Junior. And I'm going to run that through. 
and then we're going to attach the base to it as well so bearing in mind if you wanted to go bigger an eight by eight you could do it with a bigger one you'd have more space and more scope to decorate with but it's just a nice little way of doing uh, one and without having to go into it if you do buy cards and envelopes there's nothing wrong with that for many a moon can i tell you i did mm -hmm. i did i'm not gonna lie I did. Um, I'm just going to finish this off, uh, Ben, just by giving it that little uh, tad touch on there with the uh, embossing. In fact, actually, nah, nah. Let's uh, let's speed. Shall we speed it up? We've got four. Well, oh. you got you've got. F uh, you're going to speed it up. I know. You're going to slow, slow it down. down. Oh, you could hear. I'm getting my books fizz bit in and there. Then, you've got you? another five to make after this, haven't you? We've got loads, and I'm going to try and get some more in as yeah, well. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah. Take so your time. now what we're going to do? Now, if you were doing the twisted easel bit, you would fold those over. However, this is going to be an, a literally. We're going to cut it away. If you are, um, get rid of your. Uh, pencil marks if, mm -hmm. you, if you're using it at home but what we're going to do is just to remove it is get your scissors and this is either scissors or craft knife whatever you feel comfortable go up to that little first kissy line or that little notch and turn it over and release and then exactly the same on the other remembering you're not going over your tab because that tab is going to attach itself to the card you're just going to take it from that corner down to that little mark again and you'll see it because it's there on there really clearly and that creates your lovely on the edge fold bring back in your base and you're simply going to pop some glue tape pen um red line red tape, tape. yeah it's good entirely up to you and you're simply going to pop your base onto that line where the score line is can you see the fold you're going to pop that on there like so if you want to give yourself a bit of wiggle time what you're going to use ben wiggle 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 oh sorry <laughs> if you want to use a bit of wiggle time you can, you're going to use glue you're going to use your purpose glue yeah um, it's all right me to think. it's all right and then yeah that creates that but i want it to pop out a little bit so grab yourself this is when we use this black cardstock mm -hmm. we're going to cut this down to six and three quarter inches by six and three quarter inches and again if this was you matting and layering you would use more than one layer at this point at yes. this stage but this is just to set it off because I know that that's going to fit in there so get hold of that wiggle glue or the all-purpose glue I'm giving them new names give all my glues I give all my glues names you call them what you want because okay. you've already renamed the uh, I, I never call the 3d glue 3d glue in it no, it's, it's always chunky. chunky glue it is it's chunky glue mm. Yeah, absolutely. But in, in terms of where you want to purchase it, it is through yeah. Kalal yes. by Kalal, yes. Because yes. you yes, won't absolutely. find chunky. No, you won't find chunky at all. No. Uh, and there you go. So when you hold that into place, like so, you've now got your lovely uh, fold. Off. I'm saying diagonal fold. I think I might have got a finished sample with a diagonal fold. Just let me have a little route around. Yeah. Just bear with Whilst me. Whilst you're rooting, uh, Sandra Dunder says, I put in three orders this morning. I'm hoping to get at least two different cups or chaos could be caused on which drink is in which cup. Yeah, I mean, that is the downside of it, obviously, yes. Um, and Jennifer has just said on Facebook, wow, Debbie, this is such a valuable craft along. Let us know, by the way, if, you, if you're enjoying this uh, as much as, more than um, a normal craft along. She says, as much as a glue school, this is amazing, just foundational. Um, yes. So it is very useful, I think, for a lot of people. Good, good, good. I haven't found a finished sample. I looked, I looked, I couldn't find one. However, you would just simply use your papers, um, maybe do a little bit of decoration in that corner. But again, when you write it on the back, and I call these a diagonal fold, so that's what I'm going to call mine, diagonal fold. And I did a 7x7 seven seven base. I did an 8x7 score at one inch in. And then, and I usually put a little picture die cut on diagonal mm -hmm. and that bit means that I know now when I come to that card again I've got that one ready I know exactly what I'm doing I know exactly my measurements and there you go another one done so that's how many is that one three two, three three and de trois. Let's go another one in before the hour's up. We will do it and then we'll be halfway at halfway. I will quickly remind you of the full collection um, of these amazing everyday word edgeable dies. How valuable is this, right? You're getting not only the six dies and ten sheets of card for an amazing saving today, but also we're sending you away with the knowledge, with the skills and ideas to be able to make eight different card shapes. Now, this is the best way to get this collection. However, if you want to go individually, you can or on a two for £23 or $27 deal. So, the six different 
different designs that you are going to get uh, with All My Love. And on the boards here, just showing you kind of in your simplest form how this cuts beautifully to create those uh, wonderful cards. And then again here, how you can use it at lots of different ways but as I say the point is we send you away from this show uh, with at least eight different card projects you've got just for you happy birthday all of them so beautiful love the way that you've got the words popping out the top of the age of your project uh, you've got the bit that cuts in here and then all of the detail in that one with the streamers and the birthday cakes you've got on your special day with the flowers uh, and then this beautiful congrats you did it all of the sentiments as well as I say are just super versatile uh, you know you're not sort of just pigeonholing these for particularly one occasion special friend I mean you can just send that whenever you like uh, just to put a smile on somebody's face all six dies are included in the bundle along with uh, your 10 sheets of Centura metallic cardstock um, in the copper as well. As I mentioned, if you want to go and um, grab these individually, you can, or on a two for £23 or $27 deal. Let's see how uh, Jenny is getting on in um, Ohio. Um, slightly different craft along this, Jenny. Um, how are you getting on? Are you enjoying it so far? I am really enjoying it. It's awesome. Yeah. How yep. many cards have you made? Have I'm you done them all? A, I'm saying I'm working on a special card in between all the others. So, so far I have all the concepts done, but I, I keep pulling out when we have a little break. I pull it out, so hopefully I'll have it done by the time we're done. Yeah, <laughs> it's interesting, Debbie, isn't it? Because we had a little chat with Jenny before the show and you set her a little challenge, didn't I you? I did. I did indeed. I set, I set Jenny a challenge before ahead of the show. Um, and I, I, I know Jenny's trying to rise to that challenge, isn't she, for me? So you'll have to stay tuned to the end, won't you, Jenny? Yeah, yeah that's right. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So yes, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're loving it. Honestly, I hope everybody else is as well. It's just like a little extra, something a little bit different, but a little bit extra as well. Um, just showing you, because we so get, sometimes we get so wrapped up in doing one project for a craft along that we forget. There are a ton of things. And, and the one thing I adore about edibles, and I know you probably feel the same way, Jenny, is that they're so versatile. There are so many different things you can do oh, with them. Oh, yes. And that is why I wanted to show as many concepts as I could in the two hours that I got. To be in total honesty, I could have done four hours with this show and we could have gone through and I still wouldn't have covered all the different ways that you can use them. They're so versatile. So I'm glad everyone's enjoyed it and I'm glad you're enjoying it too, Jenny. Can't wait to see oh, what you very much. With. Excellent stuff. Um, plenty more to make. We've got another five um, at least to make over the course of the uh, next hour and eight minutes. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to make uh, number four. But in that time, let's give you a little bit of a chance to uh, check out your baskets. And don't forget, as always, if, you've, if you're crafting along with us, uh, show us your makes at the end of the show. You know, it may well be that you've never made any of these styles of card before. Uh, and today is the first day of hopefully many that you will be making. But we'll have a short little break. We'll come back with more if you've got items in your cart right now. Head to the checkouts and we will be right back. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing. I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. 
will also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Carol says, I'm loving the show as always, Debbie. Let us know, because we're testing the waters, doing the craft along slightly differently. Evelyn says, I'm loving the show. I've been listening. Uh, no time to comment. Well, you just did. Uh, Elaine says, I just love, love, love this demonstration and you both look great. And Gwenda G says, this is more a craft class than a craft along. Craft, uh, crafters companions should do more of these. I learned so much from the classes. Well, the point is, it is a little bit like that, really, because you, you have got uh, the option to craft along with us in real time. But yeah, it is a bit of a class for the point of we want you to save this show so that when you get these goodies home, you can uh, make up to eight different cards. You might already have lots of other different um, edibles out there. These are all going to allow you to do these different cards that you're showing on this show as well. So we are pleased that you are loving it. Now, um, if we're going to get all of the uh, cards done over the course of the two hours, we need to finish the next one before four o'clock because we will be halfway through then. So card number four of eight, Debbie, what's next? So we're going to do the, the floating um, acetate front card. So this one's a really, really easy card to make. And again, looks really stunning because you've got that floating element, yeah. uh, which is just absolutely fabulous. So uh, grab yourselves a sheet of white card, a sheet of black card, and uh, a sheet of acetate. Um, I did put mine down. Do you know, I do love acetate, but my God, it drives me mad. Ben, it drives me it. mad because I lose it all the yeah. time. Uh, I'll find it in a minute. But uh, this could be, and now again, because it's a big die, anything from six and a half upwards um, would work perfectly with this one. So I'm going to go in again. Um, I'm going to go with a seven by seven again. So I'm going to have a seven by seven base on white card going to have a matte and layer of seven so six and three quarters so this would be the next one down so this will be a six and three quarter and they're gone obviously when you're taking this into your crafting <coughs> excuse me you would um, use pa pattern paper and things like that but that creates my little card base blank excuse me a minute while I just have a little swig <coughs> for a second oh yeah no worries uh, don't <coughs> forget uh if you want to shop ahead the show later on our uh, cart load is proving really really popular uh three hour sarah style cart load coming up from uh, seven o'clock this evening two o'clock east coast uh, we've already had sellouts and we're still uh, what, three hours away from the show. So do have a look at the uh, the show page if you get a chance. I think we are uh, <laughs> all swigged and uh, ready to go. Are you all right over there, Mrs? I am, I am. It's because I'm, I'm getting the back end of a cold and um, it's left with me a tickle. And so it just comes, do you know, luckily we're talking for absolutely ages and then all of a sudden this little tickle comes and it just, yeah. just nearly freezes me off. Never good when you're on telly. No, no, definitely not. Now, grab your acetate. So your acetate, we're going to cut to eight inches by seven inches. Can you see where I'm going with this one? So a bit similar. And we just move that to the one side. Move all my uh, other pieces to one side. Actually, the bit that you've cut off, save, because we're yeah. going to use that in a moment. Okay. Uh, but what we're going to do now is we're going to score the acetate um, to make sure it will fit on the base of the card. Now, this is when you'll need to visualise it, because you can just see it on my board, can't you? Yeah, you can, yeah. Uh -huh. You see it on my board. Just grab your scoring tool, and again, um, again, I'm going to do it the other way around, where I go to the seven-inch mark and score down. And this is, every weight construction for this one is what you need. Uh, something with a 250 upwards, I would say. 250? Wait a minute, that's wrong, that's cardstock. Um, I'm trying to think of the micro, what do they call it? Micron. Is it microns, isn't it? That, that was my card base. <clears throat> I'm thinking of my microns and my GSMs, I'm getting confused. You need it to be heavyweight. We do a heavyweight acetate in A4. Uh, we also sell some Unky Dory acetate in a pack. Mm -hmm. uh, we also sell some of our sheets, which are the Crafters Companion uh, acetate ones that come in an A4 size. That's what I've used with this one. Uh, so you've got, you've got options there, Ben. But what that does is, and I'm just going to glue this bit down first. I'm going to put my black mats 
onto this card for the base, as in like so. And then I'm going to attach my acetate to the back. So that flap, I want you to pull back down. I want you to pop down um, a piece of uh, red line tape or um, tape pen or whatever it is that you're going to attach it to. And then you're going to take your card blank, push it up to that, not to that fold of the acetate. Mm -hmm. You're going to then turn that over, give it a nice and use your tool to burnish that. I always use my tool because it burnishes it really nicely. And you've got your floating card. Fab. But what we're going to do now is, and if you remember we said it's a seven, I use the waist, but I'm just going to trim that down to seven inches because I want it to fit on and be a panel that's going to sit onto the bottom of my card. And I'm going to use happy birthday with this one. I'm, I'm trying to use all of them, to be fair, Ben. Uh, but we're just going to die cut into that panel. Now, wherever you want to position this, it's entirely up to you. You can have it higher up if you want to be higher up. But I'm going to go down to that base. I'm going to bring back in my uh, Gemini plates. And I'm going to hold it down again, low tack tape. This time I'm not having to use the notches because it's not going on the edge of anything. It's just simply going to be a panel that sits on the bottom of my card. Yes. And again, all I'm going to do is run that through and run it through your Gemini. Don't forget inking through and things like that. Don't forget the embossing part of it when you're, when you're doing it at home, when you're making a finished card. But when you're just doing it for this black and white concept, so you've got a bank and a library of cards, um, you don't have to worry about any of those features. You can do that when you're doing your finished one. What you're just wanting is like um, an, an idea, uh, you know, some ideas on how to put these edibles and how to use them. And like I said, the eight that I've got planned in this show, that's just some of them, Ben. Just some of them. Do you know John's going to kill me because uh, <clears throat> he came and tied it up after it crafted. Now you're making a right old I am. mess again. He said he was trying to keep, you know, um, keep everything... Uh, in check for when the boss is in. I'm going to have to go around with sweeping brush before I finish, aren't I? I am. Uh, and again, Ben, all I'm going to do is just snip to that edge, snip to that line again, that outside cutting line, remove the waste, and then attach that to the bottom of your ha. card. And there you go. That is card number four. Easy peasy, lemon all squeezy. Yep. Yeah. And all you're going to write on that there, really, and that would just depend on... I mean, the size of the card that you're going with. In fact, just line it up, Debbie, line it up. Do you know what? In my little mind as well, that's probably one of the most impressive ones that you've made so far and actually probably the easiest one to do. Absolutely, it's the easiest because there you go. You've got your acetate floating card, all done and dusted because that's a panel. At the end of the day, it's a panel. Yeah. So on the back of this one, I would just put acetate, tent fold card maybe. And then just put your measurements. So I did a seven by seven, um, and then just a panel, which was uh, seven, and my, it's literally around four inches. Mm. But you can just make, you know write that on, and then it, again, it's just giving you the idea so that when you come back to make it, you've got each one of these. And this is this is what we've done so far. We've done the tent fold. We've done oh wait a minute, yeah, because that was a little tent fold, weren't it? We've yeah. done the easel. Yeah. We've done diagonal. the diagonal. And then we've just finished now with that acetate Floating. front card, like so, that little panel, which is just beautiful. So you've got four cards done in your first hour. We've got another four to do in the second one. Have a quick breather, have a quick catch up, yeah. or listen to our Ben over there. Um, just to say as well, a few of you um, looking for the mystery bags, uh, they're on the Shop the Show page for Cartload, of course, don't forget. Not on this show, so Shop the Show for Cartload, uh, but don't forget that the Spectrum Noir bag has already sold out. Now, just to quickly rattle through a few other items that we've got on this show that you might want to pop into your basket our adhesive selection we've got some great deals at the minute on kind of your core items and this adhesive selection is super so if you are looking to stock up or maybe you're brand new and you're looking for some of the most useful kind of everyday adhesives then this collection is a great one to go for because you're getting a bottle of your um, all-purpose and tacky glue so um, the two kind of wet glues that you'll go to the most um, always think you know this is exactly what it says in the tin the one which you will go to day in day out and then you've got your tacky glue as well uh, you know if you're gluing things 
things that have got um, things like your mirror card for example your glitter card stock that's where that one is going to come into its own to dispense those nice and easily if you're doing more intricate projects for example um, and you want to get that glue just absolutely perfect we're going to give you two of your fine tip glue applicators those are never in stock as soon as they come in they go out again so I'm so pleased that we've managed to get these in this little bundle those will work perfectly with these two bad boys you've then got uh, your 3D uh, chunky glue. No, your 3D <laughs> um, glue kit here. This is, se don't search for chunky on there, it won't work. But this is brilliant for the fact that you've got your 3D glue. So if you like to do things like your um, your 3D projects, your decoupage, right? And you like to get a bit of wiggle time, obviously you can use foam pads, but you kind of have to commit to the stick quite quickly. With your 3D glue, you've got a bit more wiggle time. And what I love about this is you've got the kit, so you've got your glue, you've got your syringe um, to be able to dispense it, and you've got your little corned beef key there as well. Um, so uh, make sure you squeeze in the bottom, you're getting all of the glue out when you're using it. So that is all included. Ooh, Hello, in this collection. On top of that, you've got very handy uh, your low tack tape, three reels of, and then if you love doing your construction, we've got your super sticky uh, red liner tape, and we've got it in the three different sizes for you as well. So a roll of three mil, a roll of six mil, and a roll of 12 mil. Pretty much covered off all bases there uh, with the most popular adhesives that we do. So if you need to stock up, amazing. If you're brand new and you're thinking, what adhesives can I go for? Go for this collection, because you get a little bit of everything, which is fab and then you'll also get to try it all out, find which works best for you, and then come back and get more of that particular adhesive. $21.95 is your platinum price. Everyone saves 20%, uh, but another 20% comes off if you are platinum. Uh, $36.99 if you are shopping with us in the US. Also, very quickly, I uh, wanted to show you some of the beautiful cardstock that we've got. Uh, we've got your luxury mix cardstock collection uh, which features your glittering gold regal rose gold and sparkling silver um, and what you've got with these 24 sheets of beautiful cardstock so you've got um 12 sheets if you sort of it's sort of like a pearlescent finish to it and then matching up with that you've then got uh, that beautiful sparkle um, with the glitter as well which is just phenomenal and that is the same uh, that runs through all of the um, the different colours that you've got. Uh, your Regal Rose Gold, same again. So you've got your beautiful card stuck there with that sheen. And then, oh, look at this. It does look like thousands and thousands of tiny little uh, pieces of glitter. But again, it's all like... Um, all encapsulate yes thank you non-shed was is, is a good way to describe this so that's your rose gold and then finally the glittering gold some beautiful colors here you know if you still looking for a card for your Christmas makes, uh, you know, all year round as well for your kind of celebratory cards. This is absolutely perfect. All three of those for £31.60 or $36.40 if you are a platinum member. Really quickly as well, I will run through the uh, 8x8 collections that we've got too. Uh, and these are brilliant for the fact because the way that I work this out, you're going to get the solids which match up with your patterns. Um, you're paying for the solids in this deal, and then it pretty much works out that you're getting the uh, the patterns for free. So again, eight by eight in size. This is lovely because you've got a wonderful selection uh, of colours as far as your solids is concerned, uh, and you're going to get 32 sheets within that set, 240 GSM. And just to match up with that beautifully, you've then got your spring fever patterns. And if I hold those side by side, you can see for yourself um, that we've done all the homework for you as far as uh, giving you all your mats and layers is concerned because the patterns match up beautifully with the solids. And the way that this deal works, as I say, is you just flick through, um, you kind of got like a um, bit of a weaving effect going on there in the blues and the pinks. You've got beautiful chevrons, spots and dots. Again, that basket weave um, going on in the brown is gorgeous. Really lovely collection. Yeah, so what I was saying is you've got a, a perfect way here to get both of these and pretty much get the pattern paper that you've got in this collection for free as well. Love the daisies there. That is the uh, Spring Fever collection, £11.94 for both or £14.50. Same deal comes your way on the um, uh, every, what did you say?
Everyday Delights, yes, I was listening correctly. Everyday Delights, so once again, um, you've got your set of uh, beautiful card here, so 240, a wonderful collection of color, double-sided, of course, for you too. Uh, and again, you're gonna get 40 sheets this time around of all of those beautiful colors. And then guess what, again, we've made sure that these all match up absolutely beautifully for you. Uh, and again, you're going to get your patterned Everyday Delights for free. Uh, and again, this is gorgeous. You've got your sort of um, argyle print in there. You've got your little um, crisscrosses. Then you've got your foliage, spots and dots. Really, really lovely colour palette. Um, look at that. All the beautiful coloured foliage, your stripes in there. It's stunning. And again, it works out that you're going to get this collection for free within the bundle. Uh, £11.94 or $14.50. There's more of these deals available for you as well of the 8x8, uh, which we'll look at later on. Um, what I will also say is, don't forget, if you're spending £20 or $30 today, we've got the travel bugs. Uh, these are today's... Um, um, 12 days of craftmas gift so it is um, uh, day nine isn't it yes day nine uh, you get one of these added into your basket if you spend 20 pounds or 30 dollars you can come back and uh, check out again the same amount and we'll pop another one in we've got three different designs uh, if you check out three times you get three mugs you might get duplicates if you're lucky you might get one of each but it's definitely worth going uh, to spend 20 pounds or 30 dollars uh, to get those as your freebie today right enough wittering on from me uh, we've done four cards with our uh, everyday word eligible so we've got four more to do 50 minutes what's next we're going to do the fold back card okay because the fold back card as well can double up as a double z fold card so um, and i'll talk about that in a moment uh, but lovely lovely effect where it almost looks like it belongs to that part but when you open it up um, it just looks absolutely incredible. So again, this is a lovely one to do. Um, I'm changing this up, so I'm gonna move to some A3 cardstock. However, if you have only got A4 cardstock and do not have any A3, do not worry, I'll come to a little little bit of a cheat way in a moment on how you can do that. Uh, but for now, you're gonna get your A3 cardstock. I'm gonna stretch out the, did you say arm? Well, I, I call it an arm. Yeah, I still call it a leg oh, for some reason. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Leg. Do you call it an arm or a leg? <laughs> <laughs> the extendable yeah. arm. Yeah, which way, do you, which, which way do you call it? Extending your arm? Oh, yeah, I suppose it is. Oh, arm or well. leg. Vote now. Yeah, well, <clears throat> moving swiftly along. <laughs> <laughs> go to your uh, guillotine, your large guillotine, or your glass mat. If you haven't got a large guillotine, you're going to measure this at 12 inches. So we're going to cut that down to 12 inches. I'm going to have a 7 inch depth from mine. So we're going to go to 7. So this is 12 by 7. Save all your extra bits, especially if you were doing a double Z fold card. And we'll talk about that in a moment, like yeah. I said. But what we're going to do now to get that lovely fold really nice and easy, this one, because you're going to score it at three inches and six inches. And it's as easy peasy, lemon squeezy as that yes. on A3. Because I'm just going to quickly, before I move on to do the die cutting, for those people that don't have any A3 cardstock, what you're going to do is measure a piece of six inches in white cardstock by seven. You're going to measure a piece at um, seven, let me get that right because I feel I remember rightly, seven, yeah, seven by seven mm -hmm. and score it at one inch and then at four inches and then fold back because that way to get your fold back card, you simply attach the two to create the fold back and that is with a4 cardstock ben if you don't have a3 I see. and the reason i want it to be that nice finish at the six for this one is because this is a big die this is not a little die if you was doing this on an ordinary can you see it fits perfectly under the six inch if it was a normal heart, you know, the half fold we did earlier on yeah. it would not have that correct um it should be hanging over and I don't want that. I want to have this lovely effect where it fits in there beautifully. So we're going to do this in, in two stages. So we're going to hold it and run it down along the top. And I'm going to, again, return it that way for a second. Now, if you were doing it on your Gemini Junior, you would have to fold that piece underneath your plate. Uh, but on your A4 or your Pro, you're going to be absolutely fine. Again, I'm not using measurable notches because I don't need to. This is simply going to be a die-cut design on the top of a card. So I'm going to hold it down with some low-tack tape. We're going to run that through, like so. And I'm using the special friend this time. That's the one with the lovely... Um, uh oh, really, really. 
Amelia. Amelia had a little bit of an accident. A little bit of an accident. Amelia. Yeah. Do you know I found quite. that yesterday with the bits and pieces I had over here. It was a right old mess with guillotines and scoreboards and machines. And then when you cut stuff, all the bits and pieces were everywhere. Exactly. If I crafted as much as you did, I would be just as messy, I'm sure. Well, it's not I'm, easy to keep neat, is it? Not e it isn't easy, which is why though now I, every time I finish my crafty session, I make sure I clear up. Before I just think, oh, I'll clear it tomorrow. I'm going to be back in here. I don't, not anymore. I do it straight away. I get it all done and dusted. I feel sorry for John when he comes in. He's going to kill me. Oh, he um, won't because he loves you. I know it's a good job he does, isn't it? Mm. Uh, just being for the time being, I'm just going to snip this away, um, Ben, just to get rid of it before I run it through the die cut again. Because uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take it on the other side. Can you see it's die cut that out? Yeah. You're going to go, and even though it's going over the fold, I don't want you to worry about that. What I want you to do is line it up. So line it up along the top. Make sure that that looks about, and you can do it by eye or by you know measurement if you want to. But I'm just going to hold it down again. Bit of low tack tape. Yeah. Run it through my Gemini like so by the way i'm um, talking of crafting i must just say thank you to you debbie because debbie came in today with some um you know debbie's got a few bits and pieces in her craft she's got a few bits and pieces in her craft room <laughs> so she's donated um some sets for my daisy so Aww. thank you for that you're and, welcome and also just a big thank you i don't know if you're watching let me know if you are sue sue king uh, left me a parcel here today it was so lovely um Aww. of some goodies which um you've also donated uh to my daughter daisy so thank you so much it was really i wasn't expecting it but a, a very big thank you for doing that that's really lovely very sweet of you um and i will um, i'll get crafting with daisy hopefully this weekend actually because i'm here tomorrow uh, but hopefully this weekend we'll do a little bit more but uh, safe to say uh, for someone who's just you know starting out doing a bit of crafting I've already got loads of stuff. I know how it accumulates quickly because I've got boxes and boxes already. I've not even started properly, so. Oh, bless you. <laughs> now, all I've done is I've just released on both ends, but I just need to release this middle part, Ben. So again, you could use scissors or a craft knife, whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh, because it is quite delicate, it can be a bit tricky with your scissors, but you can do it it's you know it's it's not it's not too hard uh, but what that does is create that lovely double back and all i've done with this one ben is i just measured myself a piece of black cardstock because you don't have to do this this was just something a little bit different uh, and just adding a straight panel which measures at seven inches by six inches and that's just going to sit onto the back of like so and you see the pop of color the lovely thing about these dies is that these have got liftable wings so uh -huh. these wings lift up so when you are attaching it if you are going to attach a piece of cardstock behind it i mean you can keep it where it is literally just that beautiful fold back like so but i'm just going to pop um, a little bit of um i use me i'll use some um, dotty tape pen for that i'm not going over the wings i'm just going to go over the areas where i know it'll stick like so and then i'm going to go in with um my stronger tape and then all i'm going to do is just line that up like so again use your all purpose for this if you want a bit of wiggle time to get it into its place but i'm just using it just literally to uh, make that pop a little I bit i don't find with a tape pen that if you as long as you don't like rub and burnish you can there you is can get a away bit of a with, way yeah. out isn't it's there? the minute you commit and burnish yeah. it whoof, then you're, you're in trouble. Then you're uh, done. To start with, you can get away with it, but it's when you stick it proper down mm. and give it a good old burnish that it becomes a little bit difficult. Mm. So that creates that lovely fold back. Now, if you wanted to do the double Z fold bend, you know, with the spare pieces that you've got, yes. you could measure out again your 12 by, um, sorry, your, your three inches and six inches, because this is already a cut at 12 inches. And then you could do the repeating and you could change up the die, you could change that to just for you and attach it to the bottom and you've got like a double Z fold card yes so that's one way that you can do that but this one for the time being and i'm just going to give it an extra little burnish because i think that is number is that number five done five done oh we've got three to try and cram in there but that is your fold back card so all you're going to do on that one again just on the back pop on your measurements and you can put fold back and you could also pop on there double Z fold so that you know where you double Z and you could put your extra little measurements in there. But your 12 by 6, score at 3 and 6 and die cut. And again, it's as simple as that. 
just so you've got a little reference to go back to so that you know when you're coming to do this particular fold you've got that all ready Ben so there you go that's the next one I'll get ready for the next one yeah when you're ready good one I mean these are fab uh, that was your fold back there of course um, the paper says gorgeous says joy been using on all of my cards lately yes we looked at some of the papers earlier on um, and Alicia just saying that 3d glue gel is epic uh, we're gonna have a look at another uh, brilliant deal for you in just a few moments time I just want to recap though I just want to recap on the everyday word edibles that you're gonna get in this collection <laughs> Georgina has just said I love it when you put those glasses on you look like you mean business I think I look like I should be putting on some sort of like show in the circus but um, if you think this looks like business then great uh, <laughs> business for me that's not saying much is it right uh, this collection is uh, brilliant as you're seeing we've only shown you or Debbie's only shown you five ways that you can use this collection there's tons more but we're going to get in at least three over the course of this show they are beautiful they are so easy to work with as you've said and the bonus about getting these today as I just quickly flick through these for you is that you're now going to go away with this craft along with this award-winning show and you're going to be able to take these beautiful cards or these beautiful dies I should say away with you uh, and have eight different concepts to be able to make possibly in fact I think it probably is uh, the most worthwhile craft long in that kind of point uh, that we've ever done for the fact that you know normally we, we send you away with a lovely project this time we're saying well here you go get this wonderful collection walk away with eight different card concepts that you can use time and time and time again obviously uh, this show will stay on our Facebook page it will stay there of course on YouTube as well if you're not yet a subscriber subscribe to us on our YouTube channels, subscribe, bookmark this show, save it to a playlist and then you've got this to come back to you because chances are you'll make a few of the cards and it won't all go and if you're like me you'll do it a few times and then you'll come back to it a few weeks later and you'll forget what you were doing. If you've bookmarked it you can come back to it at any time. This deal today, of course, comes with 10 sheets of your um, Centura Pearl Metallic in the copper, and you're getting it with that £49.15 uh, price tag if you're platinum, or $58.01. one cent. It will also get you your free travel cup today as well as part of our 12 Days of Craftmas. Now, something else which has proved really, really popular is our weekly deal, the weekly deal that we like to call the Get It Got It Good deal. Um, and this is epic this week because you're going to get all sorts of card stock and all sorts of glue that you need. It's been one of our top sellers this week because you've got craft card stock, white stamping card stock, matte black card stock, Nina card stock, watercolour card stock. So all of the kind of card stocks that you're going to turn to day in, day out. And we're going to give you your 3D uh, collar glue. We're going to give you a bottle of your all purpose and we're going to give you a bottle of your tacky glue as well. So literally the most handy collection you would ever want for £42.99 or $67.99 great time to stock up uh, as we head towards the end of the year into 2022 uh, you've got all of the crafty goodies you need in your craft room if you're a new crafter get that get it got it good deal and you are away with some of the most uh, core items that you'll need in your craft room that is the price today uh, and once again great deal for you because if you're picking it up today we'll also bang in one of our free travel mugs for you too right we have 38 minutes to go. We have three more cards to make. We also, at uh, a, a soonish point, we'll need to pop back to see how uh, Jenny is getting on because she's making the cards along with us. But also, Debbie set her a challenge at the start of the show to come up with another concept, uh, which I know Jenny is working on. So we'll check in with her in just a bit. But let's get back with uh, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Uh, Wobbly Present Head herself to see what we're doing next. I know. I, I, we am balancing these, Ben. I'm having to be really careful. I can't believe you've kept them on. Nearly knocking myself out with them. Um, uh, they're a lot heavier than they look as well. You think they're light, but they're not. I'm like, I don't move my head. I'm like, I'm too scared to move it in case something falls <laughs> you off. Love. Uh, but You've I'm never looked better. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to use this to create that lovely see-through panel. Do you know this is going to work lovely on box lids as well, can I just tell you? Yeah. But I'm going to show you in the card form, but I want you to remember box lid if you think about this. Uh, so grab yourself a piece of A4 cardstock, Ben. We are going to do that uh, fold that we did at the beginning, the A fold, R fold. Um, so we're going to the six, but then one in, uh, sorry, the one increment, the one eighth increment before, and we're going to top to bottom. Um, so it's five and five eighths fold that in half burnish we're good to go because this one is a really nice easy one again take and I've gone congrats you did it on this one yes and I'm simply going to place it now again this is entirely to you because I want you to think about where your window is going so I'm going to bring it a little bit further down like out there yep 
Uh, and then I'm going to hold it down again. Bit of low tack tape, Ben, little, little bit of low tack tape. Now, you could, if you wanted, put a little piece of measurements in so you could draw yourself like a little square and then position it into place if you wanted. But I'm just going to go straight in with the cut. So I'm going to go in, again, normal platform of your uh, thin metal die combination. Run it through your machine. Move your scoreboard out of the way and your guillotine, like so. And then what we're going to do is just simply get a craft knife and a craft ruler. Yep. And a, we've got a metal edge ruler on our website we that's got a lovely metal strip. It makes it really nice and easy to use with your craft knife. If you haven't got one of those rulers, any metal ruler, I wouldn't use a plastic ruler for this because the craft knife um, obviously will damage your plastic ruler. Uh, don't forget again, we've got the embossing features that you can do with it. I promise, I promise, John. I, do, I know he's not seen note yet, but he's going to kill me when he's... You thought it were a sandstorm uh, uh, earlier. Uh, 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 look, oh, he's at the window oh, looking in. Oh, no, he's coming in. He's coming he in. He heard me. He's coming he's in. He's me. Oh, no, he's saying coffee. Thank you very oh. much, John. Yes, I'll have a black coffee. Uh, he didn't Deb hear that we're talking Debbie about. Debbie was him. just saying that um, you're going to... She's just saying you're going to be... She was just saying you're going to... You're going to be cross because she's making a real mess over there. Uh-oh. Oh. 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 He doesn't look happy. Oh. He doesn't look. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the look you got there. Oh. I bet I don't get a black coffee now. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless yeah, him. No chance. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, John. I promise. I promise. I promise I'll clear it up. I promise. He says, look at him with a smile on face. He knows full well I won't. <laughs> I was going to say, if you do, I'm going to video that and put that on my Facebook page. I know. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be good. I am. I'm going to be good. Now, I did say you needed a craft knife. Debbie put hers in a safe place. Uh, now, when you're doing this particular design, this is when um, I would probably say do your pencil mark first and then you could perhaps, um, you know, uh, draw around it and then cut around it. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is, Ben, and I'm going to use my glass mat. This is another thing, another tool that we forget about. But the glass mat is a, a lovely positioning in place where you can actually do your... Um, do you know you're using it as to do your lines? Does that make sense? Uh -huh, yeah. Do your measurements? Yeah, yeah. So you could absolutely use that to help you measure to get a nice uh, shape around. Um, but again, I'm just going to go in because I'm, what I'm going to do is let me just measure that up onto me line like so because I can rub the pencil marks out afterwards but what I want to do is just get a nice even around there and again using your glass mat and the measurements it's just a nice little a nice little you know finish to it yeah absolutely so, right yeah absolutely use your tools you know if you haven't got your anything glass like mat this, is a glass is a mat must is just, have, isn't oh it? my god it's amazing mm. I love my glass mat for all sorts of reasons mm. inky background techniques all those kind of things uh, and then get your metal edge ruler so you're going to go to the metal edge side <clears throat> Debbie's is looking rather shabby because she's been using inks again I know Ben I know uh, and then what we're going to do is take your craft knife and again, holding it down into place, go to where that notch is, run it across your line. And like I said, on this particular bit, you can rub your pencil marks out afterwards. So again, I'm going to just go in up to that. Oh, Debbie, careful. Debbie. Ooh, nearly. Nearly ended up chopping me flour off. Ooh, don't don't want to be chop doing your that. flour off. For don't want sake. to be doing that, Ben. Um, and again, I'm going to use and just create my... And this creates that lovely little window. And then we'll do exactly the same. Like Jennifer's just so. said, this is the concept I want to do with my Christmas edgeables like these. Yes, yes, absolutely. Because this is like, you know, th these are the edgeables, the everyday edgeables. Yeah. But these concepts will work with all, all of our edgeables. edgeables. You yes. might just have to change your sizes and things like that, depending on, you know, the size of the edgeable. Uh, but it just shows you, and again, having the right tools make it incredibly easy to achieve these kind of looks mm -hmm. and very easy and like i said all i would do now is rub out the pencil marks so you can't see those give that a little uh, eraser or use an eraser if you haven't got a pencil that's got a rubber on like mine oops oops <coughs> oh what are you done tore it did you oh, see me then i did bit, i tore uh, it over exuberant there with your rubber uh yes i was over, over over zealous yes. you don't want to be tearing it in that top color like i've just done uh, and then all you're going to do is add again your panel there on the background would be um let's take a little piece of black castle again this is just to make it pop a little bit so you can see but again 
Think about your measurements and where it is. So a normal half fold, I'm going to go with eight and a quarter by five and a half. So let's go to five and a half inches. Did you already say five. this or did I dream it? Um, so this concept that you're doing now would be also brilliant for your box lids, right? Yes, box lid. I yeah. did say that. Oh, yeah, you absolutely. Did. You did. Uh, it would work perfect with box lids. Um, and that's when your acetate will come in. Yes. Uh, so again, I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue. It's just going to sit in the background like so because it's going to give me a little pop just to see, can you see that? Perfect. But what we're gonna do now is add a bit of acetate. So, John did fetch me some acetate in, God love him. Let's uh, chop a little panel. Um, and I'm gonna go in with um, four inches by eight inches. And I'm just gonna attach that to the back, like so. Um, and again, depending on how, you know, how big you are, if you want it to cover it all, I would probably go a little bit more. In fact, let's, let's, let me use that other piece. Yeah, I'm going to use that piece just for a second. I'm going to go bigger. I'm going to go five and a half. There we are, like so. And then I'm going to attach that to the back so that nothing seeps through there. And again, this would be perfect for shakers as well. Oh, ben, this, why not? This yeah. One. Could do a shaker element and lift it with foam on a roll and that... And, uh, Oh. Foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll, foam on a roll. Hey! That just reminds me. Yes? I've got a bone to pick with you. Uh-oh. Somebody told me on the grapevine that you don't like singing it anymore. Me? Yeah. That's a fib. Oh. That's a fib. Oh. Who's been telling that sort of rumours? Uh, what? It, I can't remember who it was, but we were having a conversation because I was saying that because someone said like Joe's always like, mm, and he sort of sings along begrudgingly, and whoever was stood over there said that you've started going a bit like that as well. I did not. No. How very dare they? It might have been Debbie Fisher. That? Whoa! Trust that, Debs. Trust that, Debs. She accuses me of nicking pies and puddings and all pies? that stuff. Well, do you remember that quiz they once did? And it was about who oh, would be the one that would um, oh, take yes. the last sweet or whatever it were. Yeah. Said me. You. All right, me. As you. if. As if. Uh, but. I knew you didn't say left. that. I would never say that about I knew, you. Knew, and it was all Never lies. say that about you. Uh, but that shows you how you can make your lovely. And don't forget, by using the foam on a circular thing. Yes. You can use it to create a shaker card as well. Uh, and also box lid, because you could do that on a box lid of your box. So there you go. That's another one. And again, all I would write would be an A-fold tent um, with a window. And I'm going to put with window and just put use craft knife. Because really, there's nothing else to pop on there and acetate because it's a very self-explanatory, very easy, quick, easy card to make as well. So again, absolutely fabulous. That's another one banked. That ben. is number another one banked. Six done now. Absolutely. Isn't it? Six yep. banked. Two to go. One of the best craft alongs you've seen. Mm. Potentially, let us know your thoughts. Slightly different craft along with a twist. Do you want to see more of this style of craft along? Let us know um, on the socials. Get in touch on Facebook. Get in touch on YouTube. It is an award-winning show, so I kind of feel like you know we can, we can do what we want with it now. You know, because thanks to you guys, uh, we've won the award for this one. Uh, but let us know if you've enjoyed this show. I think from the comments that I can see coming through, uh, you guys have absolutely loved it, and it is a, a definite keeper. This one, isn't it? It's a keeper. It's one to save uh, to come back to you later on. Now, uh, just quickly away from that as we get ready for the final um, two card projects that Debbie's going to make. Uh, the Harmony Water Reactive Ink Pads. Uh, these are on a great deal for you. A set of 10 for um, £39 or $55. So you're saving £10.90 um, or uh, £14.50. My glasses on. Uh, it's £31.20 platinum or $44.00. Uh, as Georgina just said, I've just put on my business glasses. Um, so, water, re water reactive, all of these. Um, so, <laughs> in the um, set, you're going to get anthracite. You're going to get your Bordeaux. You've also got the pale pig, fig. You've got your fryer brown. Ooh, look who's next. Oof, she's frosty as that jed. You've then got the uh, honey pot. <laughs> you think I'd make a good Father Christmas? I no. If I was Father Christmas, I would speak more like this. Yes, ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Um, you've got your midnight. I did. Have to, I, I was. I was Father Christmas once, but that's a story for another day. Uh, midnight. Oh, I'm, 
at the minute. Really? I'm going to get you to record that voice. I would be delighted to help out. Thank you very much. Um, ho, 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 I hope you've not been naughty this year. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Good. Uh, <laughs> pine tree. Uh, straw bale. And lastly, you have got your smoked emerald. 30, do you know what? No word of a lie. I've put the, why have I put these on? I just had my reading glasses on. I was looking at them going, I'm really struggling to read. It's because you put the comedy glasses on, Ben, not your, your reading glasses. Um, now, also, we showed these earlier, proved really popular, um, and you can still jump in and grab them, the glitter markers. We have got the uh, set of two for you here. So your neon lights and your vibrant florals, all of the colors you can see right here. And the brilliant thing about these are, not only are these packed, I mean, jam packed, um, with glitter but of course they're water-based as well so if you want to be able to do um, your sort of water-based projects with these you can do but I would you know what I would be grabbing these um, simply for um, doing some fun stuff this year like lettering like embellishing maybe writing your Christmas tags uh, you know maybe uh, writing your Christmas cards with these I remember when we launched them um, and our, our Fiona she always said like you know even if you just bought these just literally for um, you know writing your cards this year writing your tags they are great value for money um, on that basis but the fact that you can do so much more with these as well I think is a reason to jump in and grab these today you've got the set of two colors so top row there is your neon lights all of those neon colors so the green the orange the pink the blue the violet and the yellow and then you've got your vibrant florals as well so your golden glow you've got that electric pink ultra violet fiery red supernova and then your yellow cosmos everyone saves 20 percent on the deal of those today less than another 20 if you're platinum that is 15 34 or 21 70 and um, I did show you a few moments ago some of the paper pads that we've got. We've of course got the um, the 12 by 12 um, cardstock, and also these 8 by 8 paper pads. Now this is the celebration set. I absolutely love this. Um, I think this is my favourite of the three. They're from the um, the year of craft boxes, of course. This one, again, is the same deal that we were doing um, on the other sets that I showed you earlier on. You're going to get the solids which match your patterned cardstock there. You pay for the solids in this deal, and it basically works out that you're going to get the uh, patterns for free. Here's your beautiful cardstock that you're going to receive. 36 sheets right here. Uh, your pinks and your bit of few yellows. You've got sort of your peach going through there, your turquoise and your blue. Um, so all of that is included in this pad at 240 GSM, 36 sheets. That matches up beautifully with the pattern paper uh, that you are also going to receive, as I say, in this deal for free. And you've got 48 sheets within this collection. Love the swirls, love the colors that you've got in there as well. Um, and just as we flick through here, just to remind you, we've got uh, the lovely Jenny who is crafting along with us. Oh, I love that. Um, we're going to come back to Jenny in just a bit. She's been making the cards along with uh, Debbie over the course of the show uh, and also, I think, has come up with one of her own projects to show us uh, just before we finish. But anyway, more to consider there, as I say. Um, basically, buying that one, get that one for free. Lovely, lovely deal. Right. Let us move on with 23 minutes to go. I have a feeling you're going to ace this. You might get in nine or ten if you really wanted to. If, I reckon you will. Bless you. I reckon you will. Number seven Bless now. Bless you. Number well, we're going, to, we're going to finish with the two, um, the ones that, you, they might look a bit more challenging, but they're not, can I tell you? Because we're going to do the double step, double step of cards. Uh, and I'm going to show you a cheat's way of doing it. Uh, but look how fabulous when you can put two together. So these next two cards are going to be with two of your dies being mixed together. So I've got just for you, special friend. How beautiful are they? And you've got the butterflies and the dragonflies with this one. So again, a lot easier than you think. So you're going to grab yourself two pieces of A4 cardstock. And I feel a little bit like I'm repeating myself with this one, but let me tell you, the A4 cardstock on these particular dies works absolutely brilliantly. So that get it, got it, good deal. Wow, staples and all the cardstock that you need to do this because this will work on craft card, black card, white card, Centura Pearl, the 12 by 12s, all those kind of things that our construction work card can do on any of them. So what we're gonna do again is as boring as it sounds, we're going to go in again with that A fold R fold. With the what? A fold R fold. A fold R fold. A 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 fold. A
fold. Eighth fold, half fold. And so we're going to take it to the notch before, so the one eighth notch before the number six, which is the five and um, seven eighths. Seven eighths. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Ben. Thank you. <laughs> and that is going to be the first part of your stepper. We're going to bring in another piece of white cardstock. Uh, now, this is already um, obviously oh, stuck to me stuck to my glass mat. I think I've got it a little bit sticky there. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to measure this because we've already got the A4 covered, so I don't have to do anything this way. But what I want to do is create a panel for my front stepper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it onto the landscape and I'm going to cut this, let's have a think, five and a quarter. I think we're going to go with this one. So we're going to cut that to five and a quarter inches. Everything's sticking, Ben. I must have got sticky glue all over the show today. What you like? What am I like? Bringing in the scoreboard. We are going to... Now we're going to score. So remember, we don't need to do anything this way. What we're going to do is we're going to put the score lines in and then do the die cut afterwards. So for this one, we're going to score at three quarter of an inch. Now, three quarter of an inch on your board if you think of these go up in increments of um half inch in uh, sorry half inch inch uh, one and a half two so what you're going to do is you're going to go for the middle one and in terms of counting one two three four five it's six eighths of um a measurement so six eighths is actually three quarters so that's the first part and then we're going to score at three as well oh, oh debbie oh hello well, you're on oh, yeah i'm all right i should be all right yeah i think that's right like so, unless I've done my measurements wrong, Ben, and then in that case, it will all go a little bit pear-shaped. But guess what? Trust your instincts, Debbie. You did these cards, so you know exactly what you're talking about. It was just very late at night when I was doing them. I stayed up incredibly late to do them. Uh, but that creates your lovely feature, like so. And that creates that lovely double and um, with like a little cheats way of doing it. So what we're going to do, Ben, is we're going to firstly pop on just for you. And we're going to take it again where you're going to go up to that notch, two notches, and you're going to place that on board like so. Hold it into place with your low tack tape. Yes. Like so. And run that through on your die cutting platform machine. Mm -hmm. Ours being the Gemini. Who got their deal yesterday? Oh, 25% off. What? Is it still on? No, it was only oh, yesterday. Was it, just, was it one of them flash ones? But I can tell you, yeah, it was the uh, eighth day of Craftmas <gasps> deal. Ah. Loads of people. We saw the amount of people this morning who'd um, taken advantage of the deals and lots of you jumped in. So well done. A lot of people uh, jumped in and bought that foil press as well yesterday because it was on the deal with the 25% off. So really? Can, yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good deals were had then yesterday. They certainly were. They were snapped up by our I'll savvy bet, shoppers. I'll bet they were. I'll bet they were. Now, all you're going to do again, release. Like I said, if you're doing these at home when, you, when you're making them, obviously do the finishing touches with the uh, embossing mat. It makes a huge difference, especially when you're wanting to release. The only thing I will say about the butterfly one is take your time. Again, I'm going to take my time this time, Ben, and I am not going to rip it out like I did with the previous butterfly because that's the last thing I want to do. It is a very intricate, delicate die, but you want to make it come out easy. And again... Oh. For me, let's just get rid, let me just take rid of that little bit, there we go. Pop out all your little waist pieces, like so. There we go, and then we're going to simply attach now, when we, well, well, first of all we're going to do the die cut. So that's your first part done, like we did with the tent fold. Yep. So that's the tent fold taken care of. Bring in the smaller piece, like so, and this is the bit where you're going to pop it onto this not the one uh, there, this one. Yeah. And we're going to use the special friend for this one. So we're going to pop that. And again, you're going to line it up. Pop it onto that score line. Put your tape, tape down and die cut through again. Do you know what? More than anything, I always use the sort of bend test with these because yeah. I, I think I'm quite a simple man. Um, and I think, I think if I understand then absolutely everybody else will understand. And how brilliant is it to see step by step by step? Like I'm watching right now and I'm thinking, yeah, I can do a card like that now. Yeah, I easy. But I wouldn't have known where to start before this. Exactly. And a lot of people, you can do separate cards on A3 cardstock. 
but sometimes not everybody has A3 cardstock to hand. Mm. So using A4 cardstock, the one that you have tons of, I don't know you have, um, it's just showing you again how absolutely super, super easy they are to, to make. They look more complicated um, than they actually are. And I, that's why I did want to do this. It was one of those, I, I, did put, I did pitch this idea to our lovely boss and I said to her, is there any chance that I can, you know, kind of, do, and she will all for it. Oh, absolutely go for it. She said, because sometimes we forget, we get caught up in doing all those fancy projects that we forget sometimes the bare basics. I mean, they're fabulous. The fancy projects, I absolutely love. That's, my, that's right up my street. I love doing them myself, Ben. But sometimes it's just nice to go back to little basics um, and teach the fundamentals on how to use them. Edibles are a cracking die. They're just a fantastic die. They do so many things. I've just shown you at the moment seven. We've got another one to try and squeeze in. I'm hoping we can get there. Uh, but what we're going to do, Ben, is we're going to attach some glue onto the base of that tab. And you're going to simply marry the two together by sticking those down like so. And there you've got, and again, I'll just fold that back over, give it a nice little burnish like so and the burnish uh, the burnishing way is absolutely easy but that is your stepper card done and the only different thing that you're going to do there is add your black card stock to make it uh, pop so i'll just grab a black strip for a second let me just go in add a little bit of a black strip uh let's have a little measurement let's have a little let's have a little gander at how much probably about yeah about four inches in so i'm going to go four inches I'm just going to take um, literally a slither off just so it fits in there like so. That's going to sit on the back uh -huh. and I'll just use some wet glue so I can wiggle it into place. I forgot they fetched me a coffee in. <gasps> How long's oh, that been there? Oh, I've I had mine. Has, have you had yours? Oh yeah, gulped it down. Oh no, I was I bet, in need I, of that. I was. Oh no, I bet any money it's gone cold. You'd oh, be all right. No. We'll, be, we'll, we'll give you a chance to have it in a second. Oh bless you. Well, you, you deserve let it. Let me just show you now. And apart from adding a little strip at the back there as well, but doesn't that make it pop? that little bit more but again it just shows you how easy it is to do a double stepper card and if you want to pop a little piece behind the back to, to cheat and not do just pop a little strip of black behind the back of it and it makes that front dome pop as well but there is your double stepper card taken care of as well using two of the dies and how gorgeous does that look it looks absolutely incredible the bee's knees i tell you what that's seven done Yep. out of eight one more to go uh what a show and just thank you for the feedback as well we've been asking you whether or not you're uh, enjoying this craft along it's all positive georgina sarah k says i definitely want to see more of this type of craft along as a newbie crafter uh, massive thank you to debbie and the ctv team for doing it we're always aware that there's new people joining all of the time so i think you know this is a great show for you guys as well and this is a great show for everybody really it's a bit of a refresher and it may well be that you know there's a certain type of card that you like to make you get a bit stuck in a rut you want to see different ways of doing it and that's certainly what debbie's achieved over this show coletta says yes great show techniques and instructions this is a keeper for sure uh, samantha chanian says i totally love this show ben debbie is doing a wonderful job Mary Beth Doyle says, I love more shows like this. This is very helpful. Um, and Jennifer just saying, I'm hoping that Crafters TV has done some recordings to show over Christmas like this uh, to make the concept suites for other collections. I will let you into a little secret. We have done some shows ready for uh, Christmas, so uh, do make sure that you stay with us. But this is absolutely a show that you do need to keep. Um, if, even if you haven't managed to kind of craft along with us today, surely you're finding this super, super helpful. I know you are because you're telling us that you are. Uh, but go Go to YouTube, uh, look for this show on our page, bookmark it, stick it in that playlist, uh, and then you've got it to come back to time and time and time again. And if you want to jump in and grab this collection today too, don't forget, this is the way to go, the full collection with 10 sheets of your um, uh, Centura Metallic uh, cardstock in the copper. Uh, it's £49.15 or $58 and one cent and you're also going to receive uh, one of our travel cups to go with it because if you spend over 20 pounds or 30 dollars today uh, one of those will be yours uh, and just to reiterate uh, if you do order more than uh, one order over 20 pounds or 30 dollars you'll get one of these placed into each and every order i know there were a few little gremlins earlier on but i think they've all been fixed now we've got three different designs for you you may well if you shop three times get three different designs but we can't guarantee it you might get two of the same or one of one and two of another uh, but hopefully 
Uh, the more you shop, the more chance you've got of getting all three uh, in the collection. That, that's the way I would look at it. Uh, but they are uh, coming to you as today's gift on our 12 Days of Craftmas. We have just over 10 minutes remaining, uh, which means we do have to fit in one final project. Uh, I can't believe we've got all eight in. We've wished this show. It's absolutely flown by. Uh, and I have loved being involved in this. And we will check in with the lovely Jenny, who's been crafting along with us in Ohio before the end of the show, uh, just to see how she has has got uh, on with the eight concepts and obviously she's made uh, one of her own as well so Georgina are we going to be doing a vote then are we on oh, our favorite no, on no. Our favorite do you concept? know what just put them all in together put them just all in. Put, yeah honestly because you can't pick a concept with them I'd just put all eight because to be fair to be fair they're not really because it's not like a finished project mm. it's like a so it's like a we're going to call it the library no. of edibles so we're going to put them all in no i tell you what can i oh well, no. are you interjecting no because i th i think because we're not obviously going to have a finished project later on on cartload are we not no so i think we'd be better off just putting your card that one from wake up call in for the demo of the day don't you don't you no, I'll just put black and whites in. I'll just, oh, yeah? I'll just tie them up. I'll tie them up. We can pop them in. All right. Can, and then it can be the that one, one that we did, because this was one we did this morning, yeah. the double Z fold. Mm -hmm. So if you didn't catch the show this morning, you can go back. Another concept. And I did talk about, this is another concept that you can do with it. So absolutely, that could be... Um, I mean, who knows that what Sarah's got planned? We don't know what Sarah's got planned. I suppose. She she could have some belters in there. Could be. Can I just tell she's been working like a little beaver, busy mm. away, mm. getting ready for it. So absolutely. So let's not jump the gun just yet. All right, that's me told. Let's not <sighs> yeah, well, not. Do you want the boss to get a face on? I know, I know. She's not got a star yet, God love her. Huh? She's not got a star yet. Oh, no, oh, although yeah. um, she did do a demo on did Monday, she? which is already on the shelf. Ah, so. was she in Monday? Yeah, Let's I just know what she's like with the, the cartloads, though. She just goes whizzing through, and then we, you know, <laughs> do you know she's, she's like, like the Tasmanian <laughs> devil, and, and they never end up getting a finished project. But we'll wait, Debbie. We will wait, though. Yes, we'll we'll wait, yeah, wait. We'll, we'll be a diplomatic. We'll wait. Yes. We'll wait. Right, yes. last one. Oh, we're going one more. Right, okay, I think so. right, okay. So we're going to do that lovely traditional card fold, half fold, a fold. Right. So, by all means now, everybody's going to know this one because it simply is the notch before number six. Yep. So, it's the uh, five and seven eights. But this time, this is going to create our dome front. So, what we're going to do is, Ooh. that's your first bit. The second part of this is um, a piece of cardstock that measures at, because we need it to, to, the dome needs a bit of a curvature to it. So we're going to have to go a bit bigger, Ben. So for this, we're going to cut this down to four inches on the por uh, portrait side. We are going to take this to eight inches, like so. So this is an eight by four piece. On top of your tent, now it's not a tent fold anymore because what is it now, Ben? It's just an half fold A4 card. Mm -hmm. um, and then this now is going to have two pieces scored at half an inch either side. Okay. You could do half an inch or three quarter of an inch, it's entirely up to you. Do you know what? I might go in with three quarters. Yeah, I think I'll go in three quarters. Let's go three quarters and three quarter of an inch. And that is your basis of the next die that's going to create the dome the fold. Yeah. And it is literally a wrap huh. now what you're going to do for this part then is we're going to take happy birthday we're going to run that along the top so this time and again do you know what i talked about it just being over for this particular design it's absolutely fine it just fits in which is just again fabulous so we're going to pop that onto the top that onto the bottom i'm going to bring in my piece that's going to act as my little dome and i'm going to use um Special, Special friend. friend, we're going to go to the bottom with that one and hold those two pieces down, like so, that side, and then we're going to run those through our machine as well. Now I'm going to do one at a time, Ben, so pop that to one side, save that for a moment and run that one down first, like so, there we go, I can't believe I've got eight, this must, this is this. Is there a record? World record. Is world it? Record. World record for me. Oh, for world you. World record for me. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't for want me. to disappoint you because I think... Yes, for me. Craig's no, got the world Craig record, isn't he? I think Craig holds that one. Is it Craig or is it, is it Sarah? I think, I think there's a bit of an argument going off there, isn't there? I think it's Craig. I personally yeah. think it's Craig. What's Unkidori. the number though? 12? It was Uncle Dory. I'm sure it was a lot. Mm. It was in double figures. It was double figures. Yeah, absolutely. So while that's running through, I'm going to pop... Uh, sorry, while I'm going to clean that one, I'm just going to run this through. Make sure you've got that tape down, Debbie. I don't trust yourself. You don't want it to go pear-shaped right at the very end. No, you don't. <laughs> and then I'm going to run that through. 
like so. And again, I'm just going to pop that in. And then all we're going to do to create this, again, take that off, is we are going to just release from one end. I'm just going to be careful, Ben, because I don't want my dies to fall out the other end. Let's just pop that out for a second. And then what we're going to do for this bit is take it on the fold line with your scissors. So you're going to go down on the fold line with your scissors and then just to that notch line again, like so. That creates your lovely fold at the top of your card, like so. And then the dome part, let's get the dome bit out of there and release that one. Oh dear. It's even worse. <laughs> Honestly, I've seen oh, I, I can I see it from here. I now. caught it at the back. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. That is a heck of a mess you've made over there. But Mrs. he's going to forgive me. Is he's he? going to forgive me. Yeah, he is. Because I'm going to get my broom out. I'll get my broom. I'll do it. I'll, I'll clean it for him. I promise. Um, and then I'm going to just pop that through. And then that is going to attach and it's going to dome. Can you see you've got that dome feature? Uh, but I'm just going to add my little black pieces onto there, Ben. So I'm going to trim those down. And again, if you were using this, you know, think about sizing. Let's go to size again, which I think, if I remember rightly, yeah, we've got to go five and... We'll do five and a half, actually. And we'll do eight. And that's just going to sit like so. Perfect. Pops it. Makes yes. it a nice little pop. And then for the back panel as well, and if I just remember size-wise, let's get my ruler. We'll do it very quickly. We'll do four, yeah, four by five and a quarter. Let me grab another piece of black cardstock. Woo! I might five just minutes left. get this in. Smashed it, Debbie. Just, just get this in, Ben. Let's make sure I've not... Uh, can you hear some squeaky chairs going off there? I heard some squeaky chairs. I tell did you, you what. Did you? Yeah, I was just like, I was just like, have I heard that right? Oh, it was John apparently. Who was just, it John? Uh, just sat down on the squeaky chair and the, oh. the other day, Charlotte was um, making a right old racket in there. Was and she? And I, I, well, it was like a, it was more of a squeak. It was more of like a. It's not that sort of noise going on, and I thought I thought the worst. No, she wasn't. She wasn't, Georgina. She wasn't. But that's what I thought it was. I think some of the chairs in there need a bit of the old um, WD forty. WD forty, a bit of oil on there. Yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah, they do. Yes, I can hear that, Georgie. It's very <laughs> off-putting. Like, ah, ah. Yeah. Now I'm just releasing either end where those notches are again. I'm taking that across to release the top. You're going to pop your tape down either side of your tab. Don't run out on me now, tape, please. And then you're simply going to attach that on the inside panel. And again, you can do that at the bottom or the top. Uh, and then I'm going to... Now, if I were doing it at home, I would tuck it behind my panel. However, I'm just going to literally pop like so. And there you go. You've got your dome front double feature, which looks absolutely beautiful again. And then just right on the back, a four R fold and your strip of whatever size. So this one was uh, five and uh, no, this was eight eight by four, scored at half inch and that. And there you go. You've got your next card. So you've got whew, your bank of cards is how you should have finished now, where you've got your, uh, let's start, where did we start at the beginning? Should we go back to the beginning? Yeah. Tenth fold. Tenth fold. Wait a minute. Nope. Tenth fold. Nope. Oh. Where's my tenth fold gone, Ben? I don't know. That was your where window tenth fold. Where is it? It's there, probably where your bone folder is. is. Tenth fold. Yeah. Started with the tenth fold. We then did we did the easel card. Yes. So you've got the easel card with your word sticking up. Just make sure you've got that stuck back up. Boom. Then you've got your fold back in there. You've got your uh, double stepper card in there. Yeah. You've got your acetate fold card in there. You've got your dome featured front. Yeah. You've got your um, acetate window. Yeah. And your diagonal. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so hot. Oh, oh. <laughs> you have smashed it. Round of applause, everybody. Thank you very much. Even John's oh. come in. Oh, thank you very much. Um, thank you. Love all the different card types, says Diane. I've definitely saved this show. Eight is Debbie's record for demos. Uh, thank you, Crafty AJ. He says Craig's record was 13. Um, so, yeah, there's still something to go. But eight in a show is amazing. Eight different ideas for you to be able to make. And let's see how Jenny got on. He's been crafting along with us in Ohio as well. And I think, and I hope, fingers crossed. Jenny, did you manage to get all eight done plus the one you were making? 
I'm on the last one. I had to clean out my dyes, and it was taking me forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But, I mean, but, I mean it's been so much fun, done. isn't it? <laughs> Oh, brilliant. So she'll be keeping up and crafting along with us. Yep. Did you manage to do the challenge, Jenny? Did you manage to do the challenge? Yeah. Oh! What? Hang on a minute. Finished card. Have you oh done that my. whilst doing all of the others? Oh, my. That's amazing. Jenny, well done. Thank you so much. That looks beautiful as well absolutely fantastic um yeah i am gobsmacked as well <coughs> i'm not gonna lie that's amazing jenny well done thank you for joining us today and thank you for actually completing a finished card as well that's amazing well done it's been my pleasure well i tell you what i thought debbie had the record on this show of eight but jenny you've just taken the record because you did nine uh so jenny <laughs> yes congratulations <laughs> Round of applause from John as well. Um, we've run out of time, but Jenny, thank you so much. It's been lovely to have you with us um, here on the show. Hopefully, uh, you at home as well, if you've crafted along with us, have now got loads of ideas of um, all of the different cards uh, that you can be making. Uh, and just that it's proved super useful um, to you at home. And, and, and Debbie, like, like we said, you know what? Um, for, for our newbies, I think this is a show definitely to save, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just, them all. I'm just trying to line them all up so you can see the plethora of different things that you can do. Let me just tell you, uh, uh, there's so many things you can do with edibles. I hope this is just giving you a little idea. You've now got a library of cards that you can go back to using these dies and others as well. It's been my pleasure and I'm glad I did something a little bit different for Craft Along. I'm glad you've enjoyed it as well. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much to Debbie. Uh, don't forget to check out your basket. Save this show and we'll be back here in two hours it's a sarah style cartload coming your way from seven o'clock two o'clock eastern bye for now